Hello Bruno, I am back again. So, notice I have my safety specs back on because some of the chemicals that you're gonna be using today, which you find around the home, can be very, very dangerous. So we have to make sure that we protect our eyes and also when we finished, we wash our hands. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna to go to test, I'm gonna put some indicator into the beaker and I'm gonna put in some hydrochloric acid. Okay, hydrochloric acid. Gonna pour a little bit in from here. Now, can you see the color that that went? Look at that, it changed color. And it went a nice red color. Now, I'm going to do the same, and this time I'm going to do it with ammonia, because these are our two strongest chemicals that we're going to be using. So, a little bit of indicator again. And I'm going to try some ammonia. Let's see the colour that that goes. See, look, that went a nice green colour, a nice green colour. So that's our two ends, that's ammonia, that's hydrochloric acid. Now I'm going to try some water. I'm just going to see what colour water goes. Okay, water. So, here is my indicator. And I'm just going to pour in some water. Go, so that's water. Okay, that's water. Now, what shall we try next? Shall we try some vinegar? Let's try vinegar next. So, I'm gonna get some of my indicator. I'm gonna pour it very carefully. And I'm going to add some vinegar. Squeeze a little bit in. And look at the colour that that's gone. Now, what we need to do is try to sort of work out where this goes. Now, is it a bit reddy like this one? Or is it a bit greeny like that one? Or is it a bit bluey like that one? Now, I think it's probably more like this colour. Okay, so this was called hydrochloric acid. So I'm going to put vinegar next to hydrochloric acid. Okay. So my next one I'm going to test, or oh, what have we got here? I've got some toothpaste. Let's try some toothpaste. Let's get a little bit of indicator. And I'm going to put my bit of two squeeze, look, watch, squeeze a little bit of toothpaste in. Squeeze a bit in. Okay, and I'll give, give that a little stir. Give it a little stir. And see if the colour changes at all. Is it dissolving in there? Oh, smells very minty. Nice and minty, this is. So, again, when we look at this, we've got to decide that colour. Is it a bit greeny? Is it a bit bluey? Or is it a bit red? Now, I would probably say it probably sits somewhere over here. So that's toothpaste, I'm gonna put that behind there so we know what each one is. So this is my acid, that's my vinegar, and I've put that next to it. That's my water, toothpaste, ammonia. Okay, next thing we can try is, let's try some salt. Okay, I'm gonna try some salt. So what I'm gonna do, 
is I'm going to put some salt into some water. Okay. Actually, let's do it that way. Let's pour that into there. Keep that. I'm going to put some salt into here. So just watch me pour. Oh, look at that. Pouring. Oh. Okay, pouring that in. And I'm going to give that a stir as before. So we dissolve the salt. Salt will dissolve nicely. And then we're going to add that to some indicator and see what colour that goes. Right, so I'm going to get my indicator as before, pour some indicator in here, and I'm going to add my salt water, and I'm going to give it a stir. And look at the colour that that has. Now, where do we think that goes? Is that the same colour as water? Are they the same colour? Or is it like toothpaste? Or is it like vinegar? I would say it's more like water. Let's put salt water there. Okay, the next one, let's try lemons. Let's try lemons. So, a bit of indicator. And I'm going to try some lemons. Look, I've got some lemons in here that have been cut up. And I'm going to try some lemon juice. Okay, I've got my indicator here. I'm going to pour the lemon juice in. So you can see. Oh, look at that. Look at the colour of that. Isn't that lovely? So, lemon juice has gone that colour. Now, remember, we've got acid. We've got vinegar. We've now got lemon juice. Now, which one do you think? Let's have a look. Are they the same? Do they look the same or do they look different? They're quite similar, aren't they? So we can put them next to each other, can't we? So that was our lemons. Okay, that's going on there. Then what we're going to try is bicarbonate of soda. So that's something that people use for cooking. So we've got this substance here that people use for cooking with. Again, a little bit of indicator in. I'm going to put a bit of bicarb in. And we'll give it a little sh. There we go, look. You can hear it fizzing a bit. Oops. You hear it fizzing. Okay, now look at the colour of that. So we had toothpaste. This was toothpaste. Is it similar to toothpaste? Oh, it's fizzing a lot, that one. Or is it a bit darker than toothpaste? I wouldn't say it's green like that. But I'd say it's a bit darker than toothpaste. So it probably needs to sit there like that, I think. That's bicarbonate of soda. Let's try the cleaner, I think. I think the cleaner will be quite good. So, indicator. This is what we're going to look about. Aerial gel, okay? I'm going to try a bit of that. Squeeze a bit of that in. A little bit in, watch. Squeeze. Okay, going to give that a good little stir. See if that starts changing any colour. Oh, I think that has changed a bit of colour, hasn't it? Oh, smells very nice. Smells like my clothes. So that's gone purple. So let's have a look where that fits. Is it red like this? No, I don't think so. Is it getting bluer? Yes, it's getting bluer like these colours. These colours, but I think it's darker, isn't it? So I think that moves along there. I think that sits there. So our aerial 
sits there. Okay, and the last thing we're gonna try is kitchen cleaner, okay? So, here we've got here, flash kitchen spray. So here we go, I'm gonna put a bit of that in. Okay, squirt, 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 squirt. Let's look at the color that goes. Look, that's become sort of a, a greeny blue color. A bit like, almost a bit like toothpaste. A bit like the bicarb, look, bicarb went that color. So I think that fits. If we look along the line here, I think that fits about there. So I'm going to put our flash spray about there. Toothpaste is about there. Now we can try one more. I've got one more thing to try. And that is a dishwasher tablet. A dishwasher tablet. So I'm going to get my beaker. I've run out of little beakers. So I'm going to put my beaker here. Indicator. This is a dishwasher tablet, okay? Now these do contain quite strong chemicals, so I wouldn't suggest you handling these and I'd ask an adult to help. So I'm gonna put that in and see what happens. Okay, let's watch at the color that that goes, that that turns the indicator. If we stir it, look at that. Oh, what a lovely color. So that's gone quite green. If you look at the color, it's gone quite green. So I think that sits, if we look along the line, sits along here, right at the end here, my dishwasher tablet. So we're not gonna test anymore, but what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna give you a close up of all of the results that we found today. So as you can see, these are our results. What we've got here, is this was our acid, our vinegar, lemon, salt water, normal water. Then we had our washing up um, for washing our clothes. Then we had bicarbonate soda, then toothpaste. Then we had our flash spray. Then we had our dishwasher tablet. And then we had our ammonia solution. So these are our results, a lovely set of results. Now what we would say is the ones that go this colour, so the reddy pinky colours, we would say they are acids. The ones that go greeny, we would say they are alkalis. And the ones in the middle, so water, we would say was neutral. And anything that's similar in colour to the water one, we'd say was fairly neutral and not really acid or really alkali. So what you're going to do is, I'd like you to try to do this experiment at home using some of the things that you find around the home. And as I said, I'd like you to, to ask an adult to help you and to try some different things, things that I haven't tried here. So I hope you enjoyed the experiment and I hope you have a go at this. Remember, ask an adult to help and always be safe. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.